Here we are at TK something. Uh, no, really, that's what it's <laughs> that's, called. That's why it's... <laughs> so, it's an all-you-can-eat uh, Korean barbecue um, buffet. So, I guess, how does it work? You order and it comes, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's unlimited on all the meats that's on the list. I believe there would be some meats where you obviously need to pay extra, but majority are all um, pretty much... Once you're in, I think it's a two, 90 minute sitting, and then you just minutes? kind of just order the meat that you want and sides and I think there's dessert as well. Okay, yeah. no, that's very exciting. I've actually been here a couple of times. Mm. Um, I know that the food is really good yeah. and I'm just very excited to show you guys uh, what TK something is all about. Uh, it's actually located right next to Kenley Vale Station. Mm. So it's very easy to get to. I believe that you would normally need to do a booking. A, a booking. Yeah. But let's see how we go. Yeah. So for those who don't know, um, Korean barbecue is actually a you cook it yourself type of thing. So we, we've ordered a lot of stuff and that will come to us. The only thing that's actually cooked is the rice. The rice. <laughs> um, other than that, we are actually cooking ourselves. Um, no one's cooking for us. And are you gonna cook yourself? Oh, you're cooking. <laughs> See, it's not really cook yourself if you go with a, I mean, with people. If, if you're going to go Korean barbecue, make sure one person is a designated cook. <laughs> <laughs> you can cook today. You you want to say that everybody um cooks, but no, it's only one person. If even if you agree, people will share. It's one person is gonna take over. I'm telling you. So, but yeah, it's a really fun experience. The more the merrier. So it's the case. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see. Or really just eat. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's just all combined. <laughs> Honestly, you can make whatever you want of this. But so far, the beef and this sauce or this, um, this is really good, the garlic. Yay. Yay. Like a king here. Korean barbecue the best. You. <laughs> so the corn cheese is actually one of the things you must try when doing a Korean barbecue. It is so good. meat for us for today. We're just gonna finish that off and then we're going straight into the fridge. Alright, so we've got the passion fruit crumb, crumb terracotta <laughs> and I've got ice shape with fruit on top. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Um, well I've got, um, it's a mixed dessert bowl and you get to choose what you want in it. So I just had um, mixed ice, uh, coconut milk, Coconut jelly, Logan, jackfruit, jelly. Yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> no, it looks really good. All right, let's see if it tastes just as good. Try 
just like those um, like Vietnamese Asian uh, desserts. Refreshing, nice. Yeah, I like it. So let's first try the panna cotta. That's a very good taste. Oh yeah, no, actually that's a very good taste. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it, it, it's like the flavor came in like a little bit later and I could then start to taste it a lot more. It's so weird. And this is just ice shaped with fruit. How does the ice cream? I see. Mm. No, they're just good as well. So that was TK something. something. <laughs> um, what do you think? Uh, so full, it's really, really good for well, and really good. you know, so much value out of that. Amazing, but I am so full, <laughs> I can barely walk now. I love how the entry fee, which was uh, per head, actually covered not only the meat, the sides, and also the desserts. So we only paid what we were going to pay regardless, and we could eat as much as we wanted within the two hour time span that we yeah. had. So it was definitely worth it. Um, quality wise? I would say a good four, four and a half. Four like a half. it was very um, well seasoned, all the meats. And they also have like some of the things where I don't think I've seen it in other Korean barbecue places. Like um, the barbecue pork, I was like, oh, this is new. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So yeah. No, it was really good. Like I, I enjoyed the fact that even though we're the ones cooking it, they I seasoned. was the one cooking it, thank you. Even though you're the one that was cooking <laughs> it. Um, it was so well seasoned, anyone could have like actually cooked it and it would not have made a difference. So No excuses, right? You can cook. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're thinking about it and you're questioning your cooking skills and you and your partner just want to have a nice meal, this is definitely a place to come to because even though you're the one in charge, yeah, at the same time, the it's very well seasoned, so there is no issue. Mm -hmm. um, presentation? Um, it's hard to say with this one because it's literally meat and then you just put it. I mean, I would say because it's all you can eat, they literally just chuck it on the plate and you throw it on the, the pan. Yeah. Um, some of the other places try to decorate the meat a little bit more. So um, presentation, I'd say probably just a four kind of range in that sense three and a half four in that yeah you yes. know what i mean yeah no that's fair like I, at the end of the day presentation is hard because it is food that is getting ready to eat to be it's, cooked like yeah. it doesn't really matter in it's, that sense so, yeah. yeah so i wouldn't really look into too much into mm. presentation yeah uh, a four is a very generous thing thing that is just meat yeah um, that's been served in a platter ready to be cooked yeah um service um, I thought it was a good four, four and a half um, because yeah, like they were always there when we ordered. They try to, you know, get what we wanted, and even when we were ordering dessert, they were like, okay, well, like, what do you want on your dessert, like specifically? Yeah. So they cater to whatever you wanted. Uh, they weren't very strict with the menu, like some of the places we've been to. <laughs> um, they were very kind. They were understanding. They were fast. Uh, I really rate the service here as well. Um, I want to say. Honestly, four and a half is a very, like, it's very accurate. Yeah. I would say five should things have gone other ways. I, I don't even know what we're required to get to five. five. Yeah. Um, but really honestly, good. they did outstanding. They were very kind and I'm very happy to have come here. They've really made this experience worthwhile. Mm. Um, overall experience. Oh, um, four, four and, and a half. half. Yeah, <laughs> four and a half. We will on point with that. <laughs> it's yeah it 
it's easily justifiable how it is in the higher ranks. Uh, the only reason I wouldn't give it a five, um, I don't know, presentation wasn't that great, but honestly, what can you I, do with one? I, really? Yeah, this place is just amazing. Yeah. For the price that we got it for, yeah, it, it's, it's really good. It's a no brainer. Yeah. So if you're ever in Canleyville or if you're thinking of where to go to next, definitely come to TK something as it really is something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is us for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what you want us to try out next. And we may give you your place to go next. Yeah. Have a good day.